Deep Down Cleaning, your one-stop cleaning outfit for Deep Down Results. John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com. St. John, New Brunswick, joined by RNS Riverhawks, grade 11 forward, Sam LeBlanc. And Sam, maybe we season, one season over, still playing with the Dieppe Commandos, but talk about your season with the Riverhawks. Well, this season it was more like, last year was more like play every game and like do like give your 100% every game. But this year I had a chance to like, the privilege to get like a, lead, a leadership role. So it was more like, get like the rookie comfortable and play your hardest every game and do it like give a great example of how you're supposed to play. Jeff, let's talk about the Sam LeBlanc, uh, grade 11 student in your in your lineup uh, last season, but uh, tell me about the, the player he was for you. Uh, Sam was uh, had an opportunity this year to uh, to really build on last year. He, he had a fantastic year as a grade 10. I think sometimes when uh, first year guys play in that midget loop maybe there's not a lot of pressure or expectation and, and Sammy really kind of grew in that environment. Um, you know, I think doing what we do and being what we are, being on the ice every day was something that Sam really took advantage of and, uh, you know, worked on his game a lot. He's a kid that loves the game. Uh, he, can, he can, you know, play the game at a, at a high level and a high pace and he, he loves the skill side of the game. So uh, this year for us in his grade 11 year, he had a really strong year. Um, you know, offensively was probably one of our, our top guys, if not our top guy. And, uh, you know, he kind of embraced that role and enjoyed it. Leadership. Obviously, this was a year that he was looked to for, for leadership. Maybe explain why why uh, he wore a letter and, and, and why he was selected for it. Uh, you know, well, first of all, as, as a coaching staff, we discuss who we think would be a good fit, and, and then we let the players have some, some insight in that process as well. And a lot of his peers thought that, that he would be uh, you know worthy of wearing a letter and taking on that leadership role. And, uh, I think like a lot of teams, we had a group outside of the guys wearing letters that helped and supported. And... Um, you know, Sam, Sam embraced that. And I think probably the biggest thing was, you know, he plays, he plays hard, you know, every shift. And, uh, you know, he's, like I said, he's learning, he's growing his game. But, you know, when guys see somebody, you know, he's a major junior draft pick and he's, you know, a top guy and they see him working hard at his game and those types of things, I think that's, uh, you know, a good example that, that younger players need to see. I believe you're a better player than today than you were back, at, back in September, October. Tell me a little bit about that development. Well, I've been training hard la the last summer, and I think like my speed and my my hockey sense got way better because I've been practicing this summer with like, a bunch of Q players and stuff. So overall, I think my game went up, and it was really good. And you obviously now playing with the Dieppe Commandos. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the opportunity. How excited you are to be be there? Well, I thought it was a great opportunity. Like I was kind of nervous at the start because I didn't know like what to expect. And like how much ice time and like how like how I would perform, but overall it's been really good. I got like a lot of ice time, and I've been really like doing really good, and it's been great. Uh, talk about the opportunity, what that means. Uh, again, I called up with with Diep with the Commandos. Uh, do you see this as a real gro growth opportunity for him? Yeah, absolutely, and and I think it it validates kids work, you know, at times because they say, okay, someone recognized that I was making improvements and I had an opportunity, and I. I think from you know the little bit of it that I've been able to watch, he's uh, he's a versatile guy. So he can go in the fourth line and he can he can kind of play that role a bit. But if someone goes down on your top couple lines, he has the skill set that he can hop up and, and like I said, he can play with pace and he can play with you know he can think with pace and, and speed. So it, it makes him uh, you know an attractive player when you can do you know multiple things, uh, multi-dimensional player. It certainly helps your odds of uh, being effective. Where would you where would you like to go with your hockey career? Well, this summer I expect to train a lot more, and I expect like I've been talking to a lot of NCAA coach this past this past month and stuff. But I I've been drafted by the Seahawks, so I expect to attend a lot of hockey camps and training camps, and we'll see. Like I'm just trying to try to, to uh, find the best fit for me, so we'll see what it comes out. And uh, once the season does end, once the Commandos season comes to an end, uh, what what's your plan for the summer? What will you be doing to get ready for next year? Well, I'll finish my school year at RNS and train with uh, Matt Forge, and then after that, I'll go back home and get get a lot of muscle and get a lot of strength and train with with my uh, training training coach back home, and we'll just see how it goes. See, where, where do you see Sam LeBlanc going with this? Is is near hockey future? Um, you know, I, I think the doors. You know, he's opening some doors for himself now, and I, I think it's really important. Uh, 
you know, like I mentioned earlier about him growing as a person, a student athlete, and opening doors that way. Um, I really think with his skill set, he's going to have some opportunities to play in the junior level next year. Um, and if he chooses to look maybe a different route or take take time, a lot, a lot of times it's hard for kids to take time in that, that growth and development process, uh, even though sometimes it may be the, the better way to go. So uh, certainly we would invite him back with open arms. and uh, But we'd also push him and, and, and you know, and want him to grow his game and, and uh, you know, count on him for other areas. So... Um, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna have a, you know a decision to make shortly, but uh, those are all good good opportunities and good options and good decisions to have to make.